at home. You're facing Mahomes. It, they're throwing helmets everywhere. Zay Flowers has that sequence of, uh, I get he's a rookie, but my goodness, he fi- they finally make a big play to kind of get back in the game. And he gets up and shoves J- J- Legereus Sneed and throws a ball at him and keeps talking to it. Like, that was a great call, a- by the way. Like that was a great call by the ref. I I don't it was care. Great, like, call. great call. I saw people yelling about it, and I I was sitting there thinking, my God, there are fifth graders right now that have been watching football for two seconds. That no, if you stand over somebody after a completion and you spin the ball down on them, you're gonna get a penalty. So like, miss me. Well, the refs are making it about them. No, the ref's job is to call that play. Like that is a stupid penalty. There's no two. Like I'm not gonna blame the ref for for calling a player out on a stupid penalty. And that's a team that had no poise at that point. That's a team that that was just so frustrated and shook and, and on tilt that like Zay Flowers finally makes a play and then he, he picks up that penalty. And by the way, real quick, we get rid of this whole like, oh, the refs are just, they want to get the Chiefs to the Super Bowl. Taylor, stop, please. My goodness, the refs were not. I thought were the refs did calls? a nice job. I thought the like, refs were fine. They missed some calls, yeah. but nothing was egregious and nothing's because there's a conspiracy you know how many okay, you know Fitz, you know how many people are gonna tune into the Super Bowl with Taylor Swift there? About 110 million. You know how many people are gonna tune into the Super Bowl? Taylor Swift wasn't there? About 110 million. They don't care about ratings for the Super Bowl. They're going to do historic ratings either way. This is not a Chiefs conspiracy thing. Please stop. This is so annoying. And it just brings down the level of discourse of the NFL so much. I, I just I hate this whole like the refs just give the Chiefs all the calls. The refs called the Chiefs for two straight holding calls at the end of the first half. The Ravens just couldn't take advantage. The Ravens just got outplayed today. It's had nothing to do with the refs. It's not the refs' fault that, you know, on one play, Mahomes gets punched in the face. Like, hey, it's not like, what is the refs' do? Like, what are you going to do? And then somebody's going to say, well, if we're going to call it on this person, call it on. All right, look, calls get missed sometimes. Uh, but I'm with you, like, 100% of the way. We have to be very clear here that there is no conspiracy theory because there's no profit in a conspiracy theory. Like, it's just no, there's like, there's no money there's to be really made. Really and really also, true. like, we live in a world, Frank, where, my God, how many of you, like, if you had a huge secret, a secret that nobody in the world could ever tell, do you really think that you could keep that? Like anybody can keep that. Is there anybody that can actually keep a secret, even in an, a non-disclosure, even if you had NDAs and you went out and said, well, I'm going to have somebody sign an NDA. You think that nobody in the world would ever break an NDA? And and I love this, like, because I saw the, the TikToks out there of like, oh, the, the script is out because one bakery in some random city had cakes for the Super Bowl already <laughs> made that said Ravens versus Super Bowl and the script was released. Right. So you you think that the person that got the NFL script is like a $12 an hour cake baker and that person is keeping the secret but not telling the rest of the world. Like this is the, you're you gonna jump on some, those cakes, Fitz. Come on. I mean, can't wait. Can't wait. I saw somebody oh to like somebody put out on Instagram a picture of a Rhode Island uh, newscast that said, Oh, the, you know, for the Ravens 49ers Super Bowl, this is gonna be the weather or some dumb thing like that. They're like, Oh, this so you think a graphics designer that's making minimum wage for a local station got the script and the rest of us didn't? You think that nobody's telling these secrets? Like, this is the stupidest waste of energy. The concept that the NFL needs to fix anything that refs need to fix anything like the reality of it is uh, you will watch i will watch everybody listening to this show will watch they could put a bunch of turds on the field dress them up in nfl jerseys and we would still watch because we are addicted to the content so there's no need to fix or write anything yeah and if if you if you really think this is all true why do you watch like that's what i never understand like oh the nfl is rigged for the chiefs and taylor swift don't watch like I, i don't watch wrestling yeah, because I know it's all <laughs> fake. Like, I, what's the point anymore of watching? If you really truly think the, the refs are just in the back, I just, it, it annoys me. Let's be smarter. These two weeks, so just give me two weeks of smart football analysis and not talk about how the refs are going to rig it for the Chiefs. But anyway, yes, I, I this game was not also, about that. It it's not the refs' fault that the Ravens never tried to run the football. That's what I, I just, read. That's what I was just about to say. The refs didn't have anything to do with the Ravens completely blowing this game. Like, they didn't have anything to do with Lamar Jackson throwing an interception into the end zone and triple coverage to Isaiah Likely. Like, they didn't have anything to do with Zay Flowers trying to make up for this, you know, boneheaded penalty, diving into the end zone and fumbling. Like, that's nothing to do with the refs. That's nothing to do with Roger Goodell calling in something. that The Ravens got all played in this game because they panicked and they choked. Like, that stinks for them. It stinks for Ravens fans. It, it, they did not play their best game. They were, in my mind, the best team in the NFL this year. 
and they were just laid an absolute egg today, which is a different type of disappointment than the Lions' loss, but still crushing for all those Ravens fans out there. 